NFL Week 3, somewhat off to a bad start in my predictions. Week 1, had a tie. Week 2, had a tie. First time since 1973, two games in the first two weeks of the season ended in ties. Uh, the Steelers, Browns, Week 1 this year, Vikings, Packers. Uh, this past weekend, 4-5-1 and one last weekend, bringing my overall record to 6-14-2 and two on the year. As I said, uh, <clears throat> It's going to be a long season. Uh, hopefully, I get back on track. But the good thing is, it's a long season. It's still very, very early. If your team lost, your team's 0 and 2, 0 1 and 1, like the Steelers are, uh, 0 2 and 1, whatever. Um, 1 0 and 1, whatever your record is. Don't worry. Your your team's going to be fine. Yeah, there's going to be haters out there saying, oh, this team's not going to make the playoffs, you know, so on and so forth. It's a long fucking season. Relax. As Aaron Rodgers said a couple years ago, the Packers, they started out like 0-4. He told the Packer Nation, R-E-L-A-X, relax. We're going to be all right. So, hopefully... That good, that's the same for my predictions. As I said, 6-14-2 and two on the year already through two weeks. I didn't expect two ties in the first two weeks of the season. But, hey, that's why they play the games. It is what it is. Um, so, week three started last Thursday night. Cincinnati and Baltimore. A.J. Green had three touchdowns in that game. Three first-half touchdowns, basically, in the first quarter. Third one came early in the second there. Cincinnati uh, hung on, though. Baltimore almost came back and beat them. They hung on and defeated the Ravens 34-23. Same exact score uh, as to what they defeated the Colts week one in Indianapolis. Cincinnati plays uh, Carolina this Sunday in Charlotte. Kansas City then defeated Pittsburgh. I was on Periscope for that. Be tuned in. Thank you. I'll be on Periscope this Sunday for the Colts-Eagles game, so be sure to follow me on Periscope at Colham Luke 96 Like, follow, and subscribe to Gear on Ring as well. All the links are in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Uh, Patrick Mahomes had six touchdown passes in that game. It was a little hard to watch. I mean, it was back and forth. Nobody really played in defense. The Steelers couldn't run the ball. They lost by five. And they deserved to lose uh, this past Sunday. I even said it on Periscope. I was a little pissed off. But, hey, as I said, it's early. It's a long season. I'm over it. I think uh, uh, a lot of other Steeler fans are as well, but there are some out there that – yeah, they're pissed off that Le'Veon Bell still hasn't showed up. They're pissed off uh, Antonio Brown didn't show up to practice on Monday. Well, it is what it is. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, we can sit here and bitch about it all we want, but, you know, he'll be there Monday night when the Steelers go to Tampa to play the Buccaneers. Uh, but Mahomes, six touchdown passes in that game. Threw four week one against the Chargers. Six in this one, ten through the first two weeks. Broke Peyton Manning's um, record for most touchdown passes through the first two weeks with ten. Manning had it back in... 2013 with nine when he broke the uh, broke his own record for 55 touchdown passes in a regular season. Uh, Atlanta defeated Carolina 31-24. Oh, by the way, in that Steeler game, Big Ben Roethlisberger passed John Elway on the passing yard all-time passing yards list, and he is the first quarterback ever in NFL history uh, with he has he has the most in NFL history, most 455. I can't talk. Most 450-yard passing uh, games in NFL history. Jarrallisberger, two records broken this past Sunday against the Chiefs. Uh, it was somewhat of a uh, record-breaking uh, weekend this past week in college football as well. I talked about that in my college football Week 4 predictions video with the Week 3 recap. I'm obviously recapping Week 2 in the NFL. Going to get to Week 3 predictions here in a minute. But be sure to go check out my um, college football Week 4 predictions uh, video. As I said, somewhat of a history lesson, record-breaking uh, weekend in college football this past weekend, uh, and a little bit uh, here uh, in the NFL. Uh, Indianapolis went to D.C., Landover, Maryland, defeated the Redskins 21-9. The Colts, they shut down Adrian Peterson, who went off week one against the Cardinals. Um, Tampa Bay, who beat uh, New Orleans week one, they play Pittsburgh this upcoming Monday. Tampa Bay defeated Philadelphia at home 27-21. Fitzmagic, 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 I don't know why I was going to, Drake Maverick maybe, thing on WWE, I was on Periscope for WWE Hell in a Cell, if you tuned in for that, thanks, uh, I'll be on Periscope, uh, I'll have predictions video out for uh, WWE Super Showdown here in a couple weeks, 
I'll be on uh, Periscope for Super Showdown. That's going to be at 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, Saturday, October 6th. And then WWE just announced uh, WWE Crown Jewel going to be taking place uh, Friday, November 2nd over in uh, Saudi Arabia. WWE going back to Saudi Arabia uh, for the second time this year. They're over there back in April for the greatest Royal Rumble. But back to football, Fitz Magic uh, is uh, happening down in Tampa Bay right now. This game coming up against Pittsburgh on Monday night will be the third and final game of Jameis Winston's suspension. But I don't think Jameis is going to be getting his job back, and I don't think anybody does. Ryan Fitzpatrick has had two straight games to start the year with 400-plus passing yards and four touchdowns in each game. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. I thought he would have cooled down you know, this past weekend against Philadelphia. Obviously not. He did the same thing he did week one uh, in that shootout against New Orleans uh, on the road. <clears throat> Tampa Bay, they get Pittsburgh. Uh, this Monday night on Monday Night Football, Pittsburgh couldn't cover against uh, Kansas City this past weekend. Gave up those six touchdown passes to Patrick Mahomes. Hopefully, hopefully they get something figured out come Monday night because I don't want to, I don't want to see that again. As I said, Fitz Magic, he did the same thing up in New York too with the Jets. He, he beat out uh, Geno Smith. You know, Geno Smith really isn't anything special, but uh, beat him out, really went off. Uh, you know, he's put in this situation now with Jameis suspended. Trying to trying to make a case for him to be the starter moving forward in Tampa Bay, and I think he will be for the uh, foreseeable future. But Tampa Bay defeated Philly. They get the other Pennsylvania team at home this upcoming weekend, the Steelers, on Monday night. Uh, Minnesota and Green Bay, as I said earlier, first time since 1973. Two games in the first two weeks of the season ended in ties. Steelers, Browns, week one. This Vikings, Packers game this past Sunday also ended in a tie, tied at 29. Uh, so the Packers are 1 0 and 1. The Vikings are 1 0 and 1. And both the Steelers and Browns are 0 1 and 1. As the Saints defeated the Browns because the Browns. Uh, cannot kick a extra point or a field goal. Um, Jacksonville defeated New England 31-20 in that AFC Championship game rematch. Brady going into the game, he was 1-4 in, in games where the temperature was 90 degrees or hotter at kickoff. It was 97 this past Sunday uh, at kickoff down in Jacksonville. Make it 1-5. Jaguars defeated the Patriots. Uh, Denver game-winning field goal over Oakland, 20 to 19. Uh, John Gruden, 0 and 2, uh, in his return to the Raiders. Who would have thought that? Uh, Dallas defeated the Giants on Sunday night, 20 to 13. The Giants they almost came back there at the end, uh, but um, the Cowboys hung on, one by seven. And then on Monday night, the Bears, who have looked real impressive. Uh, this uh, season so far. I know they lost to Green Bay week one, but Aaron Rodgers did his thing uh, through those three uh, fourth quarter touchdown passes week one on Sunday night. The Bears defeated Seattle on Monday night this past week, 24-17. to They go to Arizona this weekend. Best game, Chiefs Steelers. As I said, the Bears have been uh, real impressive uh, so far this season, uh, more so this past weekend against the Seahawks. Defense really stepped up for them. Uh, the Jets then go to, to the Browns, uh, Sam Darnold uh, over Tyrod Taylor. I think uh, I think uh, he'll outdo him. Maybe Baker Mayfield will play. We might see him depending on how uh, the game goes. Uh, but that's that's on Thursday night. That's the first game of the weekend. Uh, and then on Sunday, as I said in my um, college football uh, week four predictions, I had 25 games to predict in that. I'm predicting all 16 games this weekend in the NFL. So uh, you're a fan of the Saints? That game's on here. You're a fa fan of the, uh, you know, uh, Cardinals? You're on here. Uh, Seahawks? You're on. Every, every team's covered. Don't worry. Jets go to Cleveland, as I said, Thursday night. I got the Jets in that first game on Sunday. Giants go to Houston to play the Texans. Saquon Barkley versus Bill O'Brien. O'Brien, obviously uh, the former head coach at Penn State, didn't get to recruit Saquon. Uh, well, he did a little bit, but Saquon didn't commit under him. When James Franklin got the job, he committed to him. Uh, but the Penn State connections there when the Giants and Texans play on Sunday. The Texans, uh, they lost to New England 
uh, 27-20, to I think, week one. And then they lost on a game-winning field goal to Tennessee on the road this past Sunday. The Giants also 0-2. Uh, I think uh, the Texans are just a uh, tad bit better. Uh, the uh, Giants offensive line didn't look good on uh, Sunday night against the Cowboys, and then they lose their center for the year with a broken ankle. Um, so, close game. Give me Houston. Give me Deshaun Watson over Eli Manning. The Saints go to Atlanta to play the Falcons, NFC South matchup. Uh, I think it's going to be high scoring. Uh, give me the Saints on the road, though. I think Drew Brees will outdo uh, Matt Ryan. The Packers then go to Washington. The Packers will make sure this game does not end in a tie. They'll make sure they're 2 0 1 after Sunday. Uh, the Redskins, they'll put up a fight against Green Bay. You know, this is a Vince Lombardi uh, matchup, Vince Lombardi game. He coached both these teams back in the day. Uh, coached the Redskins after the Packers, uh, but obviously didn't do anything special uh, with them, but he was still a coach, head coach for them. Uh, as I said, the Redskins will put up a fight, but not enough. Give me Green Bay. The Colts, I'll be on Periscope for the Colts Eagles. They go to Philly. Carson Wentz, supposed to be coming back, supposed to return, supposed to play for the first time since middle of December of last year. Uh, we'll have to see how he plays. You know, is it only going to be a couple series? The whole game, if he does play the whole game, is he going to be, you know, the Carson Wentz of before? Uh, MVP uh, caliber quarterback? Only time's going to tell. We'll have to see come Sunday. Join me on Periscope at Cool Hand Luke 96 on Sunday at 1 o'clock on Fox for this Colts Eagles matchup. And you'll get to find out and see. But I got the Colts over the Eagles. The Bills go to Minnesota. The Bills absolutely suck. Hell, they had one of their players retire at halftime, for God's sakes. Vontae Davis, brother of Vernon Davis. Uh, give me the Vikings. They uh, obviously uh, tied with the Packers this past weekend, as I said. Uh, they beat San Francisco week one. Defense is still really, really good. Uh, Kirk Cousins led uh, them uh, back this past weekend against Green Bay. Uh, against a great Green Bay defense uh, and you know they ended in a tie uh, but the Bills they uh, they got blown out by Baltimore week one and then they got blown out they did come back there at the end against the Chargers this past weekend um, but they go to Minnesota give me the Vikings Kirk Cousins Josh Allen will probably have a long day maybe two or three picks maybe one or two of them for touchdowns who knows um, Vikings defense will get after the young quarterback, the Minnesota at home. Raiders versus the Dolphins, a 0-2 Raider team versus a 2-0 Dolphin team. Who would have thought that? Uh, give me the Raiders on the road, though. Even though they're coming across country, playing a 1 o'clock game, um, give me the Raiders. Give me the Oakland Raiders over the Miami Dolphins on Sunday. Uh, Broncos go to Baltimore, another cross-country uh, matchup. Um, Denver defeated Seattle week one and Oakland this past weekend on that game winning field goal. Baltimore, they blew out Buffalo, like I said. And then they lost to uh, Cincinnati last Thursday night. They almost came back and beat them, but it was a little too late. Um, Baltimore at home. I'm going to pick Baltimore. <clears throat> um, next game. I said I got all games. What game is next? Um, Cincinnati and Carolina. Uh, the Bengals go to Charlotte to play the Panthers. Uh, Baltimore, I mean, excuse me, Cincinnati, who defeated Baltimore last weekend. They uh, also defeated Indianapolis week one. And then Carolina defeated Dallas, and they uh, lost to Atlanta last week. Uh, all those games have been close. Basically flip a coin on a couple of these games this weekend, including this one. Uh, give me Cincinnati, though. Uh, Got to represent for the AFC North, being a Steelers fan. I know I didn't pick the Browns, but the Jets, I think Sam Darnold uh, has looked good so far this year. Had a really, really good game Monday night there uh, to open the season against Detroit. And then he still threw for 330 and a loss against the Dolphins last week. Um, so, yeah, got to got to pick the AFC North teams. Uh, Cincinnati over Carolina. Tennessee goes to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. Close Jaguars home in the AFC South. Um... 49ers go to uh, Kansas City. 
wonder if Joe Montana is going to be there. Probably not. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, he'll cool down. I said the same thing the last week about Ryan Fitzpatrick. Who knows what will happen. Um, Kansas City, I'm still going to pick them to win, though. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that the uh, uh, 49ers would start out 1-2. and two. They beat uh, Detroit this past week at home. Barely. They still won, but barely beat the Lions, and the Lions are bad. Matt Patricia, first-year head coach, he doesn't know what the hell he got himself into. They got the Patriots Sunday night. I'll get to that game here in a second. Uh, Chargers, Battle of L.A., Chargers and Rams. Uh, games at the Coliseum. That's uh, the Rams' home game. Um, maybe the game of the week. Might be the game of the week. In my, to a lot of people. My opinion, it's up there. I mean, you do have uh, the Colts, Eagles, Carson Wentz coming back. You do have um, Cowboys, Seahawks. I know Seattle's 0 and 2, and Dallas is 1 and 1, but that's a good good matchup on paper. Uh, and then you got the Steelers and Buccaneers. You know, maybe a little bias behind that, but uh, Pittsburgh. You know, they've been in. Uh, both games that they've played so far. Uh, I know they're 0 1 and 1. And then Tampa Bay, Ryan Fitzpatrick, as I said, Fitzmagic is happening down in Tampa Bay right now. He's uh, an early season MVP candidate, but he'll cool down. As I said, I think Mahomes will as well for the, the Chiefs. But on paper, game of the week, Chargers Rams. Um, home game for both teams, basically, as I said. Playing the Coliseum, both teams are located in LA. Uh, I expect a big crowd. Give me the Chargers on the road, though. The Rams, they blew out uh, Arizona 34 nothing last week on the, at home. I thought that was game, game was on the road there for a second. Um, but the Cardinals aren't anything special right now. Uh, and then you have, uh, who else did they play? Who else did the Rams play? The Rams played, Rams played, who did the Rams play week one? some reason I can't remember who the Rams played week one let me know in the comments below and I'm looking at all the teams huh that's weird I don't know why I can't remember that. normally I can remember you know the, the little things but oh well it doesn't really matter but uh, you know because it's week three that was week one you just need to move on look towards the future not the past give me the Chargers over the Rams Cowboys Seahawks the Seahawks, they, they will find a way to win, even uh, if it involves getting the refs uh, involved late in the game, maybe a late pass interference call. Give me Seattle over Dallas. Chicago, as I said, goes to Arizona. The Bears, one of the better teams in the NFL at the moment, I think. As I said, they've looked real impressive the first two weeks against Green Bay and Seattle. Their offense better than Arizona's. Give me Chicago. And then Sunday night, Monday night, the Patriots go to Detroit to play the Lions. Matt Patricia versus his old uh, uh, old uh, boss and Bill Belichick. Give me the Patriots on the road. Uh, Belichick will outcoach Patricia, who, as I said, I don't know if he knows what the hell he got himself into, but <clears throat> we'll see what happens. And then the Steelers, so Patriots over Lions and the Steelers over Buccaneers. You're probably going to say bias on that. Yeah, there probably is bias on that pick, but the Steelers, they need to get a win win on the board. Give me Pittsburgh or Tampa Bay, but I would not be surprised if Tampa Bay uh, uh, wins this. I remember growing up, the Steelers played on Monday night in Tampa Bay. You had uh, Tommy Maddox versus, uh, I don't know if Brad Johnson was the quarterback uh, at the time or not. I know Gruden was still head coach and he was in his first or second year uh, in Tampa Bay and Bill Cowher was obviously still in Pittsburgh but um, yeah Pittsburgh will probably lose Monday night I'm gonna pick them hell I'm already out to six and fourteen six and six fourteen and two start record wise you know I don't know if it can get any better who the hell cares uh, it's a long season it's only week three so thanks for watching I know I uh, took my good old time this week with my predictions go uh, go check out my week uh, four at college football predictions uh, 
but uh, that video was a little bit better than this, but you know, who, who really cares about that? Um, like, follow, and subscribe to Gird Iron Ring on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Periscope uh, website, all the links in the description. As I said, I'll be on Periscope uh, for Penn State, Illinois, uh, Friday night, and then uh, Colts, Eagles, Sunday at 1. So I'll see everybody Sunday at 1 o'clock and Friday night at 9 o'clock uh, on Periscope. Be sure to follow me at CoolHandLuke96.